So it's Tuesday the 1st of August and I was down at Fremantle today to get another video of the Bathurst Lighthouse. And the reason I chose that location is because it was exactly in the right direction for the sun to set behind the lighthouse. Unfortunately the cloud prevented us from seeing that but just to show you the location. It's just down here in North Fremantle just on that breakwater and the distance to Bathurst Lighthouse was 11.83 miles. If you look in Sun Calc, you can uh, confirm that the direction from this location to the lighthouse would have placed the sun directly behind the lighthouse. Now, 11.8 miles, let's just have a look at the Earth Curve Calculator. And I'll also look at um, the sunset and the tides, which is something that was raised in one of the uh, previous videos, but we'll, we'll come back to that. This is a earth curve calculator. I'm using a different one this time, and this one is uh, excellent because it also includes refraction. It'll show standard refraction, weak refraction, or severe intense refraction, and how much should be hidden. So putting the figures in, we've got 11.8 miles. My observer height, I estimate, was about three, three and a half meters above the water. The target height, the uh, focal height of the lighthouse is 98 feet. And from that location, if we just look at standard refraction, you'll see that we should have a hidden part of 33 feet and a visible part of 64 feet. If we have weak refraction, we have a hidden part of 37 feet and a visible part of 60 feet. So let's have a look at Bathurst Lighthouse. Bathurst Lighthouse. The actual height of the lighthouse itself is 19.2 metres, 63 feet. The focal height is 30 metres, so that's including the ground elevation beneath it. But looking at the amount of hidden distance and visible distance, we can see that from this location and about three, three and a half metres elevation, we should be able to see the entire lighthouse. Now, the other thing is, uh, let's have a look at the sunset time. The sunset time was at 5.41 p.m. And a comment on one of my previous videos was to note the tide height. Now, just by sheer coincidence, it was low tide at exactly 5.41 p.m. Now, I didn't know that in advance. In fact, I'd forgotten about it until I was at the location. And while I was filming, I just thought of the tides. And I, I checked the tide, and it was just convenient that the low tide was at exactly the same time as the sunset. So what we'll do is I'll just play the video. Now I do apologize because it is very windy and very noisy and we didn't see the sun behind the lighthouse because of the cloud, but you can still see the location and you can see that the ground underneath the lighthouse was not visible and the, uh, the visible part of the lighthouse basically matches what we would expect for 63 feet to be visible. So it's three minutes to the sunset and unfortunately the sun is behind the clouds. So I don't think we see this Bathurst lighthouse.
actually recorded now, but just with the earth curvature.